Are you tired of walking around the house with cold feet all winter? Even wearing heavy slippers, does your floor feel chilly? Imagine walking on floors that radiate a gentle warmth. You can experience that luxurious comfort with warming systems. You can have an electric warming system installed beneath the surface of your floor. It will simply radiate heat to warm the floor and the objects in the room. Your body will no longer lose heat to the surrounding objects, which will make the area very comfortable and cozy. Whether you're alone reading a book, enjoying conversation with friends, or watching a movie with family, this comfortable room is the place everyone will want to hang out in. One surface that can really benefit from warming systems is tile. It's inherently cool to the touch and can make a bathroom or any room it's installed in feel cold and uncomfortable. The floor and objects around you absorb radiant heat from you, making the room feel uncomfortable and chilly. Warming systems will really make those tile floors feel warm and cozy. We offer three easy types of installation. First, the mat system is ideal in rectangular or square spaces without irregular corners or curves. The mat heating system consists of a commercial grade mesh material with the heating elements spaced three inches apart. When installed, it's unrolled and laid across the floor area you want to heat. The tape on the mat is double-sided, so you peel off the liner and affix either side of the mat to the floor. Cut the mesh of the mat to fit the area you want to heat. Second is the cable system, designed for installation in spaces with irregular corners or curves or perhaps in a room with permanent fixtures you must go around. The cable heating system comes with wire on a spool. To install, the cable is unrolled and laid on the floor three inches apart across the area to be heated. The wire is secured to the floor using the included plastic cable guides. The third option uses the Prodesso heat cable membrane to install our cable system. Identical to the DITRA heat membrane, you can install the Prodesso heat cable membrane system directly over the entire subfloor. This eliminates the need for backer board, and the height of the membrane is less than a quarter inch, which allows for a very low profile. Install the floor heat cable in areas where heat is desired, and the floor surface can be laid right on top of it. No additional steps are required. Both our cable and mat floor warming systems can be installed on top of the subfloor and embedded in a cement-based mortar before the floor installation. We partner with industry leaders like Honeywell and OJ Electronics to offer the latest in thermostat technology, including touchscreen and Wi-Fi models. Simply program the digital thermostat to warm the floor and relax in cozy luxury. Enjoy peace of mind knowing our systems are UL listed for the US and UL tested to Canada's CSA safety standards. Experience for yourself the luxurious comfort our warming systems can bring to any room. This is the third video of the Warm Wire series we recommend viewing the planning video before ordering products for your system. This video is intended to help you plan a trouble-free installation. It is not intended to replace the instructions provided in the manual. Please read the WarmWire and Sunstat manuals before installing. Make sure you have your layout plan and the site is ready. The floor should be completely free of anything that can puncture the wire. If you plan to use self-leveling underlayment over the wire, Make sure the floor is primed before installing the wire. Outline any fixtures or built-ins that are to be installed later. Before installation, use a multimeter to test the warm wire and sensor. If your electrician is on hand installing the power supply, they can perform this test for you. Set the electrical meter to the 200 ohm range and measure the readings between the black and white wires. This will be black and blue for the 240 volt warm wire. Record the ohm reading in the out-of-box before installation table in the installation manual. The number should be within the range printed on the nameplate label. Next, measure the resistance between the ground wire and the black lead. It should display as open or will look the same as when the test leads are not touching anything. Contact the factory before continuing if you see a number when measuring between the ground and the black, white, or blue wires. 
change the meter to the 20,000 ohm range to test the sensor wires. Place a test lead on each wire. Look up the resistance in the floor sensor resistance chart from the manual to see if the number is appropriate for the temperature in the space where you're testing. Select the thermostat location and have your electrician install the appropriate electrical box. Make sure it's large enough to meet the box fill requirements of your local code. An extra deep box or a four by four inch deep box with a mud ring are commonly used. Conduit may be required to protect the wiring from potential damage through the wall. Consult your local code. Chisel or drill holes for the power lead and the sensor wire in the front and top of the bottom wall plate. If conduit is required, ensure the holes are large enough to fit. Begin installing warm wire by feeding the power leads and sensor wire up to the control or junction box location. Do not remove the label attached to the lead. Take care not to pull the factory splice into the wall when pulling leads into the electrical box. This splice must be embedded in mortar and cannot be bent. If you purchased a loud mouth sensor with your system, now is the time to connect it. If the heating wire is cut or damaged during installation, the loudmouth will sound an audible alarm. Instructions for this alarm are available in the loudmouth sensor video. Start by installing the cable strap at each end of the space wire will span between. Leave a path for the wire from the thermostat location to the closest strap. Cable strap can be cut using metal shears. Place strapping at the edge of the toe kick in front of sink cabinets. Near walls where people do not stand, and where trim board may be installed, place strapping three inches from the wall. Do not install warm wire inside closets or under built-ins. Wires must not cross each other and should never be closer than two and a half inches. Attach cable strap to the floor using two-sided tape, spray adhesive, or short screws. Additional rows of strapping should be installed for spans wider than four feet. For layout examples, refer to the warm wire manual. Depending on the thickness of the mortar used, it may be necessary to chisel out a portion of the subfloor to recess the factory connection. To secure this splice, apply hot glue to the floor. Place the wire under the first tab. Bend each tab to secure the heating wire in place by hand. Do not use a hammer. Be careful not to push the tab into the heating wire jacket. Doing so may damage the wire. Feed the heating wire between one row of strapping and the other, keeping in mind your desired spacing. Each vertical tab is a visual indicator of one inch spacing. For two and a half inch spacing, wrap the wire around three vertical tabs plus one horizontal tab. For three inch spacing, use four vertical tabs. For three and a half inch spacing, wrap the wire around four vertical tabs plus one horizontal tab. In areas where warm wire changes direction without straps, Hot glue can be applied to the floor surface to provide attachment. Once the end of the heating wire has been reached, attach the end splice to the floor with hot glue. Once again, it may be necessary to chisel out a portion of the floor depending on the thickness of the mortar used. If you end up with too much wire at the end, first consider adjusting the wire spacing, but keep a minimum two and a half inches. Never cut the wire shorter. This can cause dangerous overheating and will void the warranty. You may also consider using the additional wire along a perimeter or an area where heat isn't needed but will do no harm. Do not extend the wires into areas that will not have the same mortar and floor treatment and do not place the wire where it will be covered later by trim work or built-ins. Position the floor sensor parallel to and in between the heating elements. Do not run sensor wire across heating elements. Attach the sensor to the floor with a small amount of hot glue. We recommend that the electrician test the wire again to ensure no damage occurred during installation. You may optionally do this test yourself. If you have any questions when installing the heating wire, consult the manual or contact the factory. Use only approved methods and parts to help avoid possible problems and allow the system to operate safely for years to come.